my friends. I hope everybody is doing really well today. I have one of my installments in my 10 products for under $10 from 10 different brands. This is a series that I started a bit ago and I think this is about my fifth or sixth installment. I'll make sure that I link the playlist for you down below. See if I can throw that up to you in a card as well. I actually think it comes on this side right here. But uh, yes, we will get into that right now if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by special welcome and i hope that you do decide to subscribe i am an over 50 woman that loves everything beauty and i just have a passion for makeup skincare and taking care of ourselves as we get older i think that is something that is so important for us to keep our self-esteem going, to keep us going in these hard times is to really take care of ourselves and make ourselves a priority. And that's what I hope that my videos help you do is make you feel special. And you're probably wondering where the quip was of the day at the beginning of the video. I've moved that to the end of the video. I haven't done away with it. It will be at the end of the videos from now on. For the purposes of people that are new, they kind of are questioning what in the world my video is about. Is it going to be about jokes or is it going to be about beauty? So I know that a lot of you look forward to those. So please stay till the end and you'll get to see the quip of the day. So let's get into 10 products from 10 brands under $10 right now. All right. So for the products that I really, really love, we're going to start off with Catrice. This is the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. All right, this is a great product. It has little micro pearl particles in it that will settle at the bottom, so make sure that you shake it up every time. But it's going to give your face a beautiful glow. I will say that this mister is not my favorite mister of all time. What I do is I hold it way above and let it kind of fall on me. So I'll spray it and let it fall wherever it's gonna fall. So it kind of just little droplets and then if it does get uh, you know any extra don't ever like you know hold it straight at your face because you're going to get it really on it did immediately what it was supposed to it kind of gave a little bit of an illuminating effect on my forehead and across my face i just think it's a really great one it's not super drying i am a very dry gal normally this one is a beautiful glow though and if you want to really just have that really lit within candlelight glow look this is for you it's a really beautiful spray the second product that i'm gonna mention and i've mentioned this in several videos lately and you're gonna see this in my monthly favorite is the wow brow from elf this has a teeny tiny bristle to it it's just a tiny little mascara wand and it has fibers in it too and i love it because i can do my brows these are not like penciled in brows this is the only product that i have in my brows right now what it does is i have quite a few brows already i mean i have regular brows there but they're light and this helps to fill them in and it does deposit little fibers on there too and i just like working with it because the ease of that tiny little brush just lets me get in there and grab all those hairs and even though my hands shake a little bit and i do have a disability which is my palsy in my hands this one is easier than you know actually drawing in a pencil where my hand has to be really steady to use it it's quite forgiving so i really do love this one and then the next thing that i have really been enjoying lately is from milani and it's their ludicrous lips line and i have two of them here let's see if i can read it without my glasses probably not i couldn't read them without my glasses so let's get the glasses this one is called semi charmed it is the mauve color one and it's so pretty this is very quite opaque See how shiny but opaque that is so this is a good one if you're looking for some definite color and then this one is more of a topper and this one is called luster light and this one i love putting on top of looks it just is one of those ones that brings a lot of light and a lot of dimension to a lip gloss or a lipstick and it does have a shift between a little bit of a peach a little bit of a pink so i love that but none of these that i talk about if i ever talk about a gloss you guys got to know that if it has any sort of a reflect in it, it isn't going to have any sort of grit in it because that is my pet peeve for glosses. If you get a, you know, a sparkly gloss on and it has a little bit of grit in it, I'm going to just have a cow and be wiping that off because I don't like that. So these don't have any sort of a grit in them, but they're so pretty. And I love the formula on these. It does stick around a long time and it does give you that really super juicy pout. All right. My next one is from Rimmel and these are their eyeliners and these are the scandalized. Let me see. Scandalized 24 hour waterproof gel 
pencil and these are so good this one is in brown i love the creamy texture of these i love how you can smudge these out and they'll still be waterproof this one is in nude i love to put this one in my water line because it just gives just a brightness there you can't even see it because it's the color of my hand there but it will actually when it goes in the water line it takes away any redness that you might have in there and covers that and up and this one is the cobalt i just put that on top of the nude okay this one is the cobalt one. Sorry about that. I'll swatch the nude one again so it's there. Um, and there's the nude one. You can't really see it anyway. But there's the three of them right there. They do have a black and they do have a couple other colors, I believe. So I'll make sure that they are linked for you. But I love Rimmel. I think it's a great brand. I think it's very underrated on YouTube. And these liners for the price are really good for their lasting power, how creamy they are. They don't tuck on your eye at all. You can um, sharpen them and get them really tight into your um, upper tight line if you want to just really beautiful liners and with some really pretty colors i did a dupes video very recently where i showed you the maybelline falsies mascara this is your basic little bit of tapered wand little bit of hourglass but it's not as much as like lash paradise or better than sex mascara and i really like that it doesn't have that hourglass one in so much i like the formula on this this is the waterproof one i have a tendency to go for waterproof on my upper lash line because i just want it to really be able to build on itself and hold the curl and that's really what i find does that this outperforms the luxury one that i put on there for that specific purpose of holding the curl and the other thing that it does that is so great is that being waterproof it's not going to smudge flake anything all day long and i find that when i go to take this off at night it's not like the mascaras we used to wear when we were kids that you could not get off for days this comes off just fine with some um, waterproof eye makeup remover or an oil or a balm and i love the way that this builds up and i love what it does to my lashes separates volumes all of those good things and it usually does it in one to two coats so this is a really great mascara this is probably my number two at the drugstore um great lash being from maybelline the other one that is my number one but i love this one it's just a really great mascara from l'oreal their true match pressed powders you guys do you remember these from so long ago? I just got mine out again, and I love the feel of this. This is a super finely milled powder. It really is good for somebody that needs a little bit of the you know, powder to blur out and to take away a little bit of the shine, but you don't want that super dryness that a loose setting powder can give you, and that's what this is. I like a pressed powder for that specific reason, that you're gonna be able to get it to um, you know, just do a little bit of of the oil absorbing without being the very drying look this one is the color i think this is this is the color n1 soft ivory so this is a very light color but it still does a great job at blurring just grab my big fluffy fan brush here and i will show you what this does it does have a little mirror in the bottom and the little puff just fell out but it does have that mirror so if you want to throw this in your purse it's really great but it really takes down that shine just a little bit and buffs out your makeup and makes it look blurred and perfected this has been one that i've had for a long time they came out with it quite a while ago this i used even before i was a youtuber and i just remember how much i love it and i was so glad when i kind of refound it in my stash and i wanted to make sure that i talked to you about it because so many new things get talked about but these old favorites just don't get enough love okay something that is new on the market is the covergirl true blend so flushed high pigmented cheek blushes and i think these are wonderful they do have a really high pigment to them this one is in the color let's see love me yeah, 320 Love Me. I really like this one. There was only four when I went to Walmart and, and found these. But I do really like this one. Look at how the high pigment is. But I did put a lot on there. So if you just want a soft flush, you're going to be able to blend that out and just get a little bit of blush on there. And instead of having that higher pigment to it, you can get just the flushed look out of it. It is really bright in this color. I chose the pink one, of course. That is my skin tone, and I love it. Let me just go ahead and add just a tiny bit more to show you guys how pretty that is 
the pigment of it is just so beautiful. Look how pretty that is. It's a soft flush. It's just gorgeous. Let me grab a mirror here while I'm doing that. It just gives just the prettiest flush to the skin. I just think it's so gorgeous. And I think that I love the formula too because it is a very high pigmented, but it's a soft formula. It's very blendable. So if you have a deeper skin tone, you're going to be able to build it up to be that high pigment that you need to, or you can really, you know, blur it out. And they hug your cheeks all day. I like that about it too because of the higher pigment at the end of the day you're not going to wonder where your blush went your blush is still going to be with you so I really do love that one as well the next one are the super lustrous lipsticks from Revlon I love these I have been wearing these forever about the same time as I've been wearing the Maybelline now Maybelline is my favorite formula but this is a very close second and if you find a color in this that you love then definitely go for it this one is pink pink pout. I'm run out of places to put stuff, but this one is pink pout, kind of just a bluish. It's actually a lot like what I have on today, kind of a bluish light pink. And then the next one is audacious mauve. Now this is in their new matte formula, which I really like as well. This one is kind of just a darker version of that one, a deeper, a deepened version of that one. Love how creamy these are and love how they glide across your lips. Berry Amore is this next one. Wait a minute. Very hot. <laughs> it's not Berry Amore. Another one is Berry Amore that I know of. Anyway, this one is a, also a cream. But look at the pigment on those. They're so pretty. I love these. They feel luxurious on your lips. And if you get one of the matte ones, they stay a little bit longer than the creams. I do like that new matte formula that they just came out with. It's a really buttery matte. It's not going to be real drying on you at all. Love these so much. They really do a good job and they have tons and tons of colors of these as well so i absolutely love those last product i am so happy about i showed this before but i really do love this palette from essence this is the pure nude highlighter palette it has an addition to the pure nude highlighter line now they already have be my space light and then they have just the regular one but the these are new colors and i love using these on my lid they are so gorgeous now yes you can use them across your cheeks and they are beautiful across your cheeks but i've loved using them on my lids and i will just swatch these for you so that you can see they have a really buttery consistency to them i really do love the consistency of them but what i think i love the most about them is that they are a glow without being um, a shimmer of any sort not a metallic not a super high metallic that's what's so beautiful about the pure nude is that it does have just that soft candlelight glow to it the one i have on today on my cheeks is the be my space light it was in my other video and i love that one i love the original and i love this palette and it's ten dollars you just can't go wrong with that and if you want to just pop these onto your eyelid as your eyelid color to just bring bright glow without bringing any texture anything they do really really good on that as well i just think it's so pretty that's the palette from essence i'm in love with those colors and i'm in love with the formula i think it's so great that's everything for today's video i hope that you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here i hope that you all are staying happy stay healthy stay safe take care of yourselves i love you so very much stay tuned for my quip at the end of the video love you guys Bye bye